Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Um, it's bloody hot. I'm so uncomfortable. Like I need to sort out my little vanity area. The chair is comfy. It's just the gap I've got is ridiculous. Like the cot is so big that it literally takes up the whole room where it's blocking the door so you have to move the cot out of the way to get out the door but anyway i wanted to film with you guys i wanted to start a vlog happy i think it's wednesday i think it's wednesday today so first of all i i went i did a little shop on charlotte tilbury i had a lot of like discount codes etc and you guys i am just like really struggling with my health um i don't talk i did talk about it a little bit in the other vlog but all i'm gonna say is that like it's, it was just getting me down and i needed a little pick me up so i got myself some charlotte tilbury so i want to show you guys what i got i'm so excited so i got first of all i got this charlotte tilbury's revitalizing magic mini skin set because you guys know how expensive her stuff is especially skincare um i my budget does not stretch to the big one to the big magic cream so i got the little charlotte magic cream this is the 15 mil and then i got the magic serum as well so excited to use these so really really excited to get was the glowgasm this is the glowgasm beauty light wand in peach not peach gasm pink but there's so many gasms pink gasm this one um oh my god it's so beautiful this one here i have it on so nice and then i also got a little lip duo if you guys are like me and want to like save your money but also try stuff out um you should try the travel sizes because they're just so cute and they obviously you can try them out before you buy them um so i got the charlotte tilbury glossy nude pink lip duo and that is this little lip collagen pink pillow talk bath collagen bath lip bath and then iconic nude lip liner i swear to god everyone uses the iconic iconic nude lip balm lip what am i on about iconic nude um lip liner um with like all their lipsticks and i've always used pillow talk or i've always used pillow talk lip liner and i really wanted to try this one so i did um and then i got a little sample of the pillow talk push-up lashes liam's downstairs with me by the way and livy um pillow talk push-up lashes little sample but how cute is that for a sample i love that and then i got a setting spray this is the mini one airbrush flawless setting spray and when i tell you guys that this is perfect for setting your makeup i mean look how glowy i am oh, i just love her stuff it's so nice so nice so that's how i'm starting the vlog off with you guys um so typically um what i would usually do is kind of chat to you guys so i don't really have much planned today we liam went to cambridge this morning to try some suits on i didn't go because i was waiting in for that parcel didn't want to miss it um and then basically liam's had his family over we're gonna have dinner in a bit i'll probably share that with you guys i think i'm gonna try a pasta with prawns carbonara is that weird I don't know but i wanted to try it um so i'm gonna give that a go so I'll, I'll vlog that and then we have been watching i need to watch last night's love island by the way but we have been watching the i feel why do i we've been watching better dawn and it's actually so funny if you guys have ever watched better dawn please comment down below it's just hilarious um but we're watching that we're watching I need to watch love, last night's Love Island so we're up to date for tonight's Love Island. This is currently like Liam's four days off so I'm always in like a really good mood because I get more sleep because he helps um, with Mila. 
but you guys it's a good day mila tried some food yesterday and it went down really well she tried her first bit of solid food um she had like a little pouch thing from sainsbury's because i haven't actually got a blender yet i do need to get a blender so i can blend her food because i want to like get her onto veg and fruit quickly because olivia turns her nose up at it and i feel like i didn't do it soon enough with livy so yeah i'm gonna do that but anyway i also got this from revolution it's the revolution splendor ultra matte bronzer glow so obviously i'm doing weekly vlogs on here but i will include bits and bobs of makeup but i'm not actually doing makeup tutorials or anything i'm not doing that because i'm not very good at it but if you guys are interested in makeup because i do do it um, please follow my TikTok. I am so close to a thousand. Like, I'm just really excited to hit a thousand. And it would mean so much to me if we could hit a thousand. This is my page. It's Melissa Jane. Um, like, I just post Charlotte Tilbury, makeup, PR unboxings, all sorts of stuff. So, please follow me over there. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see me try this out, which I'm really excited to try it because I think this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one, which I was going to get, but oh, it's just so pricey. Honestly, I spent too much on that stuff and I only got travel sizes. I'm just manifesting that I one day can get that magic cream in the... 75 mil or whatever it is biggest one so this is what it looks like hello <laughs> um do you know i really miss vlogging i've just sat here vlogging with you guys whilst liam's looking after the kids and honestly when i wasn't vlogging and doing makeup on like when i wasn't doing my social media and filming and vlogging i got into a bit of like a down rut like i just wasn't myself but now i'm like doing all this again i just feel so much more happier so yeah it's obviously a passion but anyway this is what it looks like how nice is that let's give it a swatch -a rooney oh i hope it's not too dark i got warm no i got light light that's light okay anyway so if you want to see me try that out please follow my tiktok you won't regret it because i post at least three times a day two or three times a day like i'm very active over there and also instagram as well so you guys i think i'm gonna catch up with you guys later i have actually got a big bag of primark stuff here so i need to film a primark haul um i'm trying to work out what to do but what i want to do is what i need to do with having two kids oh excuse me hello wow this is such a realistic vlog <laughs> this is my life um what i really need to do is learn to pre-film and be more organized with my filming if i want to make this a, a thing like if i want to be better at it i need to learn how to adapt it into my new life because technically i do have a new life i think i've been trying to film every day when i've got two kids and it's just it's not possible so with the four days off that liam gets what i need to do is bulk film i swear i'll never stop yawning it's just me um what i need to do is bulk film with like tiktok instagram and youtube so you're gonna get a weekly vlog from me on a sunday so it's gonna be a full week but obviously if we don't do much it won't be a full week i'll just try my best um and then i'm gonna put odds odd videos of primark hauls b m hauls things like that but what i mean is during these four days i need to bulk film so if that means spending half a day upstairs pre-filming and then the next day that he's off i can just edit 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 whilst he's got the kids that means for the four days that he's back at work i can go into mum mode and then i can just post stuff that i've filmed a few days before and that's what i need to do because before i was burnt out because i was trying to come up and film every day that he was off 
I was trying to vlog every day and with two kids and a baby like with a baby it's just not possible there are so many milestones that I just don't want to miss and I just don't want to miss her growing up and I know that if I come up here like now I'm sat here thinking what is she doing am I missing anything you know but I know that I need to give myself some time alone as well I've been with these two since they've been born like I'm the one that's at home with them all the time and I feel so blessed to be able to do that and it's amazing but sometimes I do believe that you do have to continue being the person that you was before kids and the person I was before kids was enjoying doing makeup and sharing makeup with you and enjoying vlogging and creating a YouTube channel and a blog and things and I'm now six months postpartum nearly I am now finally finding myself again and I'm enjoying it but like I said it's all about organizing so what I've done is I've made a list actually of TikTok stuff that I need to film this is all like my TikTok stuff that I needed to film today so pretty much I've got a lot of it done um there's a few skincare bits that I want to do as well but you know saying that it's like so easy to get it done but you have to be proactive and i'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so it's five to five five to five i need to film this primark call and then we're gonna have dinner and then we're gonna catch up with some tv and then it's gonna be evening routine and let me just share with you i have nearly a six month old that will not sleep at night and oh my god it's so different to olivia i swear to god like me and liam are from about six till nine trying to calm mila down i don't know what it is she gets so tired that she fights us she fights the tiredness which makes her angry and when she gets angry like when when a baby's overtired you know about it like if you've ever had an overtired baby comment down below a baby emoji or something or just wear baby because like or, or just say anything like comment down below if you know what i mean like an overtired baby is a really hard situation and every time every single night every single evening we have been having this i don't know if it's because it's light outside and she's not grasping it i don't know if it's because she's fighting her naps a bit in the day it's very difficult for her to nap as well because olivia runs around and shouts and screams and plays so when she's at nursery she gets a lot of sleep but when she's not she doesn't get a lot of sleep and then it's a bit of a challenge so I did try get into a routine and I did have Mila in a really good routine, slept through the night, she went to bed at 8 and she didn't get up till like 7, 8 the next morning but for some reason with this sleep progression she's got going on it's thrown her out of her routine and now I can hear her whinging, she is tired and it begins. So I'm going to get on with this Primark call because I don't like leaving... Um, I like to, me and Liam like to do it together because this is quite a big challenge when she gets like this. So, yeah, but anyway, it will be evening routine, bath the kids, meal or a bottle, also Livy, obviously dinner, etc. Ask dinner. Couldn't find the record button then. Um, we have a Primark call, you guys. Um, need some bits. <laughs> Mila. Mila's downstairs with Liam, and I just knew this would happen. Like when I go to film, I just knew. She was great, so I think he's making her a bottle. I can hear the gate go. Give me five. All right, let's do this Primark call before Mila kicks off. Um, so I got some clothes for the kids. I got a little vest top. This was two pounds. Got some bedding for the bed, obviously. Got some bedding. This is the cotton rich duvet cover. It's just really nice, like, I don't know, it's got like a little riffles there, it's really really nice, so I shall be putting that on. Um, and then I got Olivia these cute little shorts, these were five pounds, because obviously it's so warm now. Um, and then I got her this little t-shirt, two pounds, 
I got another vest top in this like beige colour for me. And then, honestly, so how cute is this little dress? This little love, oh no, play suit, little play suit for Olivia. This was um, four pounds. And then this t-shirt, little set and some shorts how cute and this was five pounds i got myself some shades i literally got liam some quay sunglasses is it key or quay i got him some sunglasses for father's day he's got them now <laughs> um but anyway oh my brows i forgot to do my brows i hope that don't look ridiculous but anyway these are four quid Oh well, like I don't need expensive sunglasses, I'll just lose them. Um, I got this little Aloha t-shirt and some shorts. Then I got the girls some costumes. So I got Livy this cute little costume here. How sweet is that? This was £6. We got this little <laughs> ornament. You guys will see this in the vlog, it was funny. Um, little naked lady ornament, a pound. I got myself some shorts, because I really needed some. Some little denim shorts, they're really nice. And how much were they? Because honestly, eight pounds, but when I say to you guys, the Primark were popping off. It was really good there. Um, and then I got Mila Moo some stuff. We got her this little romper. Daddy's on duty. <laughs> um, Ten pounds for both, and then this one as well. It came with it. Donald Daffy Duck, whatever it is. Sell some floaty shorts. Really nice. I think that would be really nice, like over a cosy or something, some costume or bodysuit. Six pounds. And then Mila Moose. We've got her some little bloomers, <laughs> little shorts. How cute are they? And then Mila's costume is this little pink one here. How sweet. This was six pa five pounds. Oh, my back is in so much pain. And then got this little t-shirt for Mila with this little t-shirt for Mila. So nothing for daddy because daddy didn't want anything. Um, honestly, you guys, it was like mostly kids stuff, but I hope you enjoyed anyway and yeah if you are really wanting to get some kids stuff primark was just really good for that like honestly i wasn't expecting it to be this good i went a few months ago and it was awful but for shorts denim shorts joggers costumes sandals they've even got like birkenstocks dupes which i was really tempted to get but i didn't i would really love a pair of birkenstocks like no word of a lie but they're just so expensive um but anyway so mostly got kids clothes got myself a few bits but i would definitely go and check out primark if you wanted to fresh linen burns up to if you want a boob candle yeah they've got lots of stuff in here got lantern candle how much is it it's one pound fifty they've got these design things they've got loads of this sort of stuff 50 pence Liam, 50p. It's a candle. You just want it. There you go. He wants a boob candle. There you go. You want? It's a flower thing. Should we get one? No, I want one. Get one then. Hold it then. I'm filming. I'm not holding it. Put it onto that. What is it? This little, oh, the Buddha candle hold, elephant, turtle, some nice stuff. Got loads of bottles here, so if you need a bottle, well, mine broke actually. How much is this? Three quid. I don't know about that. Got loads of baby hangers. We haven't actually got wardrobes for the girls. We've got drawers. So, oh look, here's all the baby stuff. How 
cute. Look, a little bowl for me. What's me Lamu's going to eat out of? What's me Lamu's going to eat out of? It's cute. Something I'm on. Trying to get off the floor. <laughs> Got tea towels here for four pounds. Some cloths. We've got a little bush. 25 pounds. Crikey, that's Larry. And we've got some bathroom stuff here. Time's ticking, though. Shower cut. It's it? Yeah, alright. I'm just saying. Flicking. Laundry baskets. Oh, Lynn. You said you wanted one of these. Peg dryer. Yeah, not that one. I want the round one. What do you mean the round one? The round like this, isn't it? It, fits up, it does. It goes like that. Is it? How much is it? Three pound fifty. Well, we need it because yeah. you keep going on about it. Yeah. Yes. Cushions. Some white. What? Do they cover? I think we've got a king though. I'm not sure how I feel about this design. It's more like... Pardon? Hello. <laughs> They've got loads of these croc shoes for... How much are these crocs? How much are they? Eight quid. Blue ones. Huh? Exactly. You need flip-flops. I don't like them. They hurt my feet in between my toes. Flippy flops. Flop flips, as my dad called them. See, so I could get my wedding shoes from here. Christ, I never wear high heels. Sorry. They're nice. Seven. Oh my God, I haven't put heels on since way before Olivia. <laughs> Two pounds for some fake micellar water. Well, it's micellar cleansing water. Loads of these claw clips. Two fifty. Oh, my favourite. That I always get. Did you have mine as well? Yeah, of course I did. From Marks and Spencers. Um, made without wheat. Chicken for heat or wrap. So obviously I've got celiacs. So I can't eat gluten, but. It's actually really nice. Look. Crikey, what was that? Now on this boat and we all know 